So welcome to the open day session for A-Levels and Science. Um, if you haven't registered already, please um, sign up to our registration form, which is in the chat, the link for which is in the chat box now, uh, so that we can send you a recording of this presentation later. And uh, as the presentation proceeds, if you have any questions, please uh, put them into the chat box and we will aim to answer them at the end of the session. I'll now hand it over to my colleague, Howell. Thanks very much. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put these slides up. Here. Okay, um, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this um, virtual open day for Uxbridge College uh, Sixth Form Centre. Uh, my name is Howell. I'm the history and politics teacher at the, college, at the uh, Sixth Form Centre. And uh, I also help to coordinate uh, work experience and UCAS applications. Probably you know, UCAS is about uh, getting you into university. That's the university application. So I'm going to talk you through um, three things, and then there'll be time for questions at the end. First thing, what you can study here um, at Uxbridge College uh, Sixth Form Centre, so the subjects that are on offer. Uh, then I'll talk about why you should consider studying with us here um, at Uxbridge College Sixth Form Centre. And very linked to the reasons why you should study, or consider studying with us, is what our students do afterwards. Uh, we see ourselves, the staff of the Sixth Form Center, as uh, getting you ready for the next stage of your life. Most of our students spend two years in the Sixth Form Center, and we want them always to be thinking. We're always thinking, where are you going next? What's, what does your life hold when you get to 18 uh, and the world is before you? So we'll look a little bit of, uh, about that uh, at the end. So first of all, what can you study uh, in the Sixth Form Centre? What most people uh, who come here in September will study is three A-levels. Those are the choices there in front of you. You've got the three sciences, business studies. You can study uh, English language or English language and literature, which is like, as you can sound, a, a mixture of the both. Uh, we've got maths here, we've got a big maths department, and we also offer further maths. Uh, in the humanities then there's history, uh, media studies, politics, psychology, and sociology. I think I've got them all uh, there. To come and study here in the Sixth Form Centre, you need to do well in your GCSEs. Uh, at the minimum, you need to have at least five GCSEs at grade four or above. That'll get you into study a lot of those subjects. But some of them you need to do even better than that. You need to, for example, if you want to study maths or science, you've got to get sixes in those subjects. For example, if you wanted to study chemistry A level with us, you've got to get a, at least a six in your chemistry GCSE and you've got to get six in your mathematics. So that's what most people study with us, uh, the A levels. Very occasionally, if you get, if you get uh, sevens in a lot of your GCSEs, we'll allow somebody to do uh, four GCSEs. But nearly everybody who comes and studies here does three, uh, sorry, four, uh, studies three A-levels. Um, okay, so that's um, one option. I'll also just add that the slightly different to schools is that you're not constrained in your options. So we've, some, we've got student studies physics, history and maths, um, and all sorts of um, combinations are available to you. So as long as you've got the GCSE grades, you can study whatever you like. You're not constrained there. It's a two year course and it's about getting you ready for university. Uh, there's another option. It's actually, uh, A-levels is a level three qualification. We've got another level three qualification called uh, the BTEC in Applied Science. That covers biology, chemistry, and physics. And the entry requirements for that are a little bit lower. Um, you still need to get your five GCSEs at grade four, but you don't need to get sixes in the science. So it's, it's, it's usually for students who are interested in science, but haven't got those grades to do uh, study A levels here. And it, it's a little bit of different format. There's less exams at the end. There are exams in it, but less of your mark comes from the exams and much more of your marks come from doing assignments. So there's quite a lot of deadlines. Um, then there's quite a lot of assignments all the way through from the, from the very first term. 
So uh, we've got the A levels as a two-year course and the BTEC level three uh, as a two-year course. And this uh, is what it's all about. This is, these are photographs of uh, our students from the last couple of years on results day. Most of our students who study A levels or the BTEC level three go on to university. And, and the, uh, these pictures, this is what we're all about um, at Uxbridge College. We want you to have fun and uh, make new friends. And that's you know what happens. Uh, our students have a great time here. They often get involved in the sports and have a brilliant time. They're going to do their work experience and all sorts of stuff. That's great. And we, we, we really support that. But the number one thing we want for you, for every student uh, that we accept, is to get you ready for the next stage of your life. Those bits of paper they've got there, that's their results. And we want you to come out smiling like they're smiling with the best results you could possibly have got. Uh, that's very much the focus uh, of the Sixth Form Center, stretching you and getting the best possible work out of you so that you get a bit of paper uh, like that that you're very, very proud of. You know, I often say that those, um, bits of paper they've got with their results on, that is their ticket to the next stage of their life. And not everyone goes to university. Most of our students do. Some of them go on to apprenticeships or they, we help them to apply for jobs. Um, but we want you to come out with a bit of paper that makes you smile from here. That is, let me um, be clear about it. That's our main focus here. Uh, I know some colleges sometimes have a reputation for being not so demanding as a school, maybe almost as an easy option. But if that's what you're thinking of applying to Sixth Form Centre, you've come to the wrong place. We have got very high expectations of our students. Okay, so that's the A-levels and that's the uh, GCSEs, uh, uh, the BTEC Level 3. I just want to talk about a couple of other um, courses we offer in the Sixth Form Centre. The first one is for students who are interested in doing science, but they haven't got the uh, GCSEs, they haven't got the grades to, um, to do the two-year courses I've just talked about. So the gateway to applied science is a one-year course, it covers all the three sciences, and it's designed to get you ready to do the uh, BTEC Level 3 course. And, and similarly, uh, when students have got disappointing GCSEs, they haven't got uh, all the fours, all the passes that they need, we provide a one-year course to do five GCSEs. There's the list of them there. They're broadly similar to the A-levels that we offer. Uh, and in these classes, there's a mixture of students who perhaps have come from abroad and are doing GCSEs for the first time, or people who've got disappointing grades and uh, need to reset their GCSEs. A lot of those students uh, stay with the college uh, and go on to study A-levels. Um, uh, the following year. So that's what we offer. Um, and now I just want to talk about some reasons why you should consider uh, applying to the Sixth Form Centre. Well, the first one is our facilities. They're pretty good. Um, the Sixth Form is actually just a small part of a big college. And that means there's a lot of facilities here. There's a very big library. Obviously, there's a lot of books there but also a lot of uh, learning resources, online resources, study packs, um, all sorts of courses get run there about helping you to be a better student if you're struggling with anything. We've also got uh, a careers office. We've got five uh, members of staff full-time whose one job is to help you decide what you wanna do with your life. We've got a lot of students who come into the Sixth Form Center not really having an idea of what they wanna do um, for a living, but by the time you leave, you'll have a much better idea. We've got um, a whole floor of uh, laboratories, well equipped uh, labs. Uh, we've got loads of computer rooms. We've also got lots of laptops that you can use when you're in the college. Um, there's a lot of sporting facilities. As every day, there's some sport going on. There's football, basketball. Uh, what else is there? Boxing, netball. In the mornings, there's like a, an exercise thing that people. Uh, come and join. So there's all sorts of extra stuff um, you can do as well. There's other opportunities as well. Um, there's a medical society that meets every Thursday, I think they meet in the moment. Uh, that's, you know, a lot of our students want to do dentistry or um, 
medicine or nursing or midwifery. Uh, we've got a couple of people applying to be paramedics this year. And the Medical Society helps people. It's quite tough to get onto those courses uh, to prepare them. Uh, just in the Sixth Form Centre, our, our own little uh, sports thing is uh, the football uh, league. That's twice a week. We also have mindfulness sessions. That's for relaxation. There's an LGBT society. Um, and there's also various trips. The science people are always going to like expos and um, things in central London at, at the museums there. Um, I take the students to Parliament every year. Um, if you do English, you'll probably go to the theatre a couple of times as well. So there's other stuff going on all the time in the, in the Sixth Form Centre. A third reason is um, where uh, is the staff uh, here? We only teach A-levels. We just teach people your age. There's not a lot of uh, younger kids for us to deal with. Um, so the staff are often uh, people who've come from universities uh, where they might have lectured, they've got PhDs and they're industry specialists. Are, are the, if you study law here, the guy you'll teach you is a lawyer. Uh, if you study uh, on the BTEC Applied Science, do forensics, uh, the lady who'll teach you used to be a forensic scene of crime officer. So they know what they're talking about. Our chemistry teacher was an industrial chemist for many years. And the staff know their subjects um, and they know their students as well. We did a survey about three weeks ago, and 98% uh, of our students said that they feel their teachers care about them, which, as you can imagine, we're very proud of. We, we do care about all the students uh, that come in, and uh, we try and show that by supporting them, having a chat with them, being friendly with them, just getting to know them. But the main way that our students know that we care about them and want them to do well is this fourth reason. It's our high expectations. From the day one of coming to this college, you will find that there's very high expectations of you. You'll get all the support in the world. We have got no problem with students who struggle or find things difficult. That's exactly what we're there for. And we'll give you all the help in the world um, whenever you've got difficulties or need help with anything. You can always come to the staff room, you can email us. Um, we make a lot of time to speak to the students. At the same time, we've got the reason that our students do well is because we've got very high expectations of them. We insist that you do as much work uh, and work as well as, as you possibly can. We're all about getting you ready to go to the best university uh, that you could go to. Uh, so that's, you know, is something we insist on. We don't have students who don't work hard here. We get hard work out of everyone. And as a result of that, um, we get great grades. Um, uh, our results are something we're really quite proud of uh, here at the Sixth Form Centre. Uh, it mentions value added there on the slide. Value added, uh, the government measures this for every school and college in the country. And they, they measure value added by looking at your GCSE results and then saying, well, how much progress did you make with your A-level results? So they measure your GCSE results when you come in and your A-levels when you go out. So for example, if a student comes in with a C uh, and then they stretch to get a B or an A or an A star, then that's, that's what value added is. Uh, the Sixth Form Centre at Oxbridge College has got the highest value added of any college in London. If you take uh, all the colleges across the country, all the hundreds of colleges across the country, we're in the top 10, we're number seven actually this year. Uh, we compare very, very well to some of the best schools um, in London in terms of how much achievement we get out of you. Uh, about 20% of our uh, grades are A's and A stars. 47% uh, uh, of our A levels are B grade um, or above. So we've got high expectations, um, but we're, we're very rarely disappointed by our students we find that uh, they respond very well uh, to our expectations. So what do our students do um, next? Um, there's a couple of examples here. This is um, a student called Ria. She's an A2 student at the moment. She got three A's in her uh, 
in her AS level, so first year exams last year. When she came to us, actually, she had to redo a GCSE. She hadn't done that amazing in school. She got excellent GCSEs. Then she signed up to the A-level course. Um, yesterday, um, she had her Cambridge University law entry test. So we're uh, hoping that goes well. She's got her fingers crossed. Just she'll find out next week. Uh, Fidel, he was a student last year. Um, he had a great time here. Um, he said, I think the secret of the Sixth Form Centre is that it feels relaxed and it's friendly, which I think is true, uh, but actually they get a lot of work out of you. Uh, Fidel's uh, didn't actually do a straightforward degree. He's doing an apprenticeship. Um, he will have a degree in three years time, like any uh, proper degree, um, but he's also working part-time for Bloomberg, a very big financial company. He's a lucky guy because they're actually paying him um, while he's studying and they're gonna pay all his university fees. It's that kind of opportunities uh, that our career center and our teachers want you to know about and want to drive you to, uh, to get them if they're up for you. So about 80% of our students uh, went to university last year. Uh, the top universities, that's the Russell Group universities, 20% uh, of our students um, uh, went to a Russell Group university. If you're thinking seriously, not about just the next couple of years, your A-levels, but doing something useful with your life, going to a good university, getting a career that doesn't have to be amazingly well paid, that doesn't have to be the best paid one, but one that you find challenging, one that's right for you and that you're going to enjoy and progress in. That's what we're all about. And that's the sort of students that we're looking for um, at the Sixth Form Centre. Have I got uh, another minute? Uh, I just wanted to share something. Have I just got another minute? Yes, yes, you have. Okay, thanks. I, I asked some of the um, teachers in the staff room uh, today to send me any emails they'd had from ex-students. And they sent me loads. I'm just going to read you a few little bits. Often. This is the biology teacher. Uh, Hi, Miss. Today is our last day of our GCSE course. And with this opportunity, I want to thank you for this year. It was one of the best and the most productive year, thanks to you. Uh, she, uh, that girl signed up then to do uh, A-levels. She's doing all science A-levels. This one came to the chemistry teacher. I am writing to thank you very much for all your help over the last two years. I'm not sure if you know this, but yesterday I was accepted to study medicine at Leicester, and I am so excited. Uh, this guy wrote to the math te one of our math teachers, Connell. He said, I was packing up and cleaning my room before I leave for home for the second year of my maths degree at Cambridge University. And I stumbled upon some maths notes and revision from my time at Oxbridge College. I realized that I was never able to thank you after I got my results. You pushed me to do my very best Sometimes I wasn't so grateful, but now I'm extremely grateful. And just one last one uh, here. Uh, this student, he came here to do, he started with his GCSEs with us. He says, uh, as you know, I missed two years of school due to complications and problems with my anxiety. He'd been out of school for a couple of years. I thought I had thrown my life away and any potential I had for my future. Uxbridge College gave me another chance and I will never forget it. Uh, I, as you may be aware, I got into Warwick, uh, he's studying an international relations uh, uh, degree. He says, I can't help but remember that it was you guys who enthusiastically encouraged me to apply in the first place. I had very low expectations of what I could achieve and I did not want to set myself up for failure, but my mindset and outlook was wrong and you guys were right. Um, I think a lot of you would find out if you came here that you, sometimes uh, it's your teachers who've got more faith in you uh, than you have. But uh, after a couple of terms and you start to see yourself improve and achieve, um, you'll, you'll be grateful that you came here. Uh, that's what we're all about really, helping students like that reach um, their very best potential. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. And now if anyone's got any questions, I, I think you'd like them to type the questions. You're gonna read them out, is that, is that yes, right? Yes, they are in the chat box, yeah. I will read them out. Um, and the first one is from Nathan. Do you offer A-level economics? We don't have economics uh, at the moment. 
Um, we've sent quite a few students to um, study economics and they've tended to do maths, further maths and business studies. Okay. Um, there's another one. How many hours does a student have to complete within this course? So um, for each of your subjects in the first year, you've got four and a half hours. So what that's about 13 hours of, of teaching time. And you'd be expected to do a couple of hours at least of self-study for each subject, up to four hours. Um, and in the second year, it's similar, 15 hours a week. That means uh, that it's not a full-time, you haven't got full-time uh, teaching, not like in a school where you've got to be there, whatever, uh, nine till three. Um, for example, some students on a Tuesday morning, they haven't got any lessons. You don't have to come in then. A lot of the students will come in because they've got, you know, want to do study with some friends, um, perhaps in the, in the learning resource center. Um, but for example, in your first year, it's very likely that on Wednesdays, you'd have no lessons at all. And most of the students then, they don't come in at all on Wednesday. You can, uh, some come in for sports or they want to do some, get some homework out of the way. But most of the students in the first year, Monday and Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday. Okay, and he asks, um, if he's got a grade five in English language, can I still study A-level politics? Yes. Okay, and um, he, uh, he will be 18 years in September 2021. Do I have to pay extra tuition fees? No. Um, uh, well, if you're over 19, um, there's sometimes a funding problem, but we, we've got quite a few students who have, for whatever reason, not done A-levels or did very badly and come back to do them. Usually, even for students over 19, um, we, we can find the funding and, and sign them up. Okay. Um, there's a question from Enosh. What GCSE grades will I need to do A-level maths? To do A-level maths, you need to get five GCSEs at at least grade four. And there's a couple of GCSEs we don't accept, um, for example, art and music, because they're not considered academic GCSEs by us um, anyway. So you need five GCSEs at four or above. And to do maths, uh, you know, the maths GCSE must also be six, at least six. Okay. And do you offer a criminology course? Sure. No. Um, a, quite a few of us, it's a very popular subject at university. Um, we don't offer a, a, an A-level or a, a B-Tech in criminology, but the applied science course has got quite a big section of it on forensic science. They have a, um, they sort, we sort of set up like a, a crime scene basically, where they have to go and find clues and do various DNA type tests. Um, so there's a big, um, there's a bit of criminology in the, uh, in the B-Tech course. Um, but no, we don't offer a, a, speci a specific subject in it. A lot of the students interested in that who go on to do a university, study psychology, which um, touches on crime, and also sociology. One of the topics there is, is uh, crime. Okay. Um, there's one question from Neil. I had started my academic year in year 11, and I got a predicted grade four in maths, and I want to do A-levels. Can I? Is that, uh, I'm assuming that means he's got that's his uh, centre assessed grade from last year rather than the actual grade he's got. I think um, so. Yeah, it says predicted. So. Yeah, we're not interested in what your predicted grades are um, so much as what grade you actually get um, on GCSE results day. Um, so if you come in and speak to us and um, we give you an interview and we think you'd be a good student, we'll give you a conditional offer. Um, but that, that's always going to be based on what actual GCSE results you get. So I'd say if you're getting predicted a four, you need to speak to your teachers. What, what can you do? What extra work can you do to get yourself uh, up to a six? Because that's, you know, it's GCSE results day. And that's when the students come in and that's when we'll, the first day that we'll sign them up when we see what their actual results are. Okay. Um, there's just uh, one more question that we have time for. There are many questions which ask you about uh, what grades they need in GCSEs. I believe this will be covered in the entry requirements for the courses that they apply for. Um, right. There's two questions. One is, is there a uniform and when do applications close? Yeah, um, there's no uniform. Um, there's no, uh, you know, hairstyles and all that sort of stuff or makeup or jewellery. We've got no interested in that, wear whatever you like. Um, we're just interested in you getting the, 
uh, best A level uh, that you can. You know, similarly, as I said, if you if your lessons on a Thursday finish at 2.30 and you've got your work done, go home, you know, that's fine. You can just uh, go home. We're not, there's not a lot of rules um, and things like they have at school here. Um, we're not really interested in arguing with students about how they live their lives. We just want them to, to do very well um, in their studies. Okay, and uh, um, there's one last question which I can answer. It says, when do applications close? Uh, we don't have a closing date as such for applications. You can apply anytime at Uxbridge College website. Um, and I believe uh, you, that's all for today. That's all the time we have for today. Can I just uh, have one little point uh, about that? Yes, there is, as you say, there's no uh, official closing time as such. We really like to see uh, students. We have, um, as I'm sure you've told them, there's um, interviews and opportunities to come and visit the school and taste the days. And we really like students to come up and show that. It shows that they're really committed to studying here. Mm -hmm. So that's something to think about too. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's all we have time for today. Um, you can find more detailed course information on our website. You can apply on the website. Um, if anybody's interested in apprenticeships or T-levels, you can even uh, attend our open day on the 2nd of December. Um, and that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you all for attending. Goodbye.